Final round, Centennial versus Peoria High School. Okay, social studies, multiple choice. The institutions of federalism and separation of powers suggest that the founding fathers feared a, a two-part... Peoria? A central government. That's correct. Math. Ross owned two-fifths of a barrel of apples, and Mr. Pickens owned three-fifths. When Ross sold one-fourth of his interest, how much of the barrel of apples did he still own? Time. Answer is three-tenths. General knowledge. Most freighters operate on a fixed schedule, but some travel to wherever cargo is available and to wherever it is to be shipped. These are called what? Time. Tramps. English, multiple choice. Name the city which serves as a setting for the story The Red Balloon. A, Oslo. B, Paris, C, London, D, Berlin, E, Madrid. Peoria. Paris? That is correct. Science. If you were to alphabetically arrange the major body systems, which would be first on the list? Car Cardiovascular? That is not correct. Time. Answer is circulatory. Math. Anzar has twice as many appendages as Bulzar, and Bulzar has twice as many appendages as Capzar. The difference between Bulzar's and Capzar's appendages is 18. How many appendages does Anzar have? Centennial. Twenty-eight, six, eight, twenty-four. That is not correct. Time. Answer is seventy-two. General knowledge. The Babylonian planet Ishtar was named after the goddess of love. What was the Roman name for this planet? Centennial. Venus. That is correct. Social studies. He saw the ground shake, the sea sucked back and then hurled forward, and great tongues of flame spurt from the black cloud that boiled up out of the volcano. What eruption did Pliny the Younger witness? Centennial. Pompeii. That is not correct. In 79 AD. Time. Mount Vesuvius. Science. What scientist wrote these works? Di Trump to Du Tung, Dre Abhandlungen zur Sexual Theory, Totem and Taboo. Peoria. Freud. That's correct. <laughs> English, multiple choice. Oscar Wilde's statement. Experience is the name everyone gives to his mistakes is an example of A, a pun, B, riddle, C, sonnet, D, epigram, E, allegory. Centennial. Allegory? That is not correct. Time. D, epigram. Social studies. Which region acquired by the U.S. government is indicated in this passage? Months before the purchase was made, Jefferson asked... Peoria. Louisiana Purchase. That's correct. I love Louisiana. <laughs> <laughs> General knowledge. He murdered his brother Abel... Centennial. Cain? That's correct. Science. <laughs> What distant moon in the solar system is about half as large as the planet it orbits? Centennial. Sharon? That's correct. 
Caputo's not a thing anymore. Hmm. Social studies. Who incorrectly made this prediction? The world will little note nor long remember what we say here, but it can... Peoria. Abraham Lincoln. That's correct. English, multiple choice. Which adjectives, adjective does not require either the word most or the word least to form its superlative? A, lavish. B, spooky. Peoria. Lavish. That is not correct. C, elo... Centennial. Spooky. That's correct. Math. Your dad tells you he will pay you $6 an hour for the six seconds that you take to wash your hands before dinner. How much did you make for washing your hands? Peoria. Six cents. That is not correct. Time. One cent. Social studies. An economist who notices that consumer prices have risen at a substantial rate over the past year would characterize this economic condition by what word? Inflation. Oh, sorry. Centennial. Inflation. That is correct. Science. What term indicates the bleaching of plant leaves due to light deprivation? Time. Etiolation. English. Who wrote the poem that begins with these words? There is a place where the sidewalk ends. Peoria. Shell service scene. That is correct. General knowledge. In what novel by Enid Bagnold does a passionate horse fan disguise herself as a male jockey to ride in the Grand National Steeplechase in England? Centennial. Red Velvet. That is not correct. Time. National Velvet. Social studies. This refers to what war? Many persons' war and post-war experiences had left them rootless and disillusioned. Centennial. World War I. That is correct. Math, multiple choice. If 15 cans of tripe surprise will feed seven men for two days, how many cans are needed to feed four men for seven days? A, 15, B, 20, C, 25, D, 30, E, 35. Centennial. 30? That's correct. It was just before the bell. 30 cans of tripe surprise. General knowledge. This is about what hero. Slowly he walked backwards into the cave, holding his shield. Centennial. Perseus. That's correct. Science. What kind of colloids are dispersions of gases in liquids or solids? Time. Foam. England, or English. <laughs> Yeah, what line from the song, Row, Row, Row Your Boat, includes a metaphor? Peoria. Life is but a dream. That is correct. Social studies. What historical document consists of these four parts? Preamble. Peoria. The Constitution. That is not correct. A Declaration of Rights of the People. A list of complaints against the king. Centennial. Declaration of Independence. That is correct. General knowledge. Who was the central character in a series of adventure stories that also included Jip the dog? Peoria. Uh, the Adventures of Tintin. That is not correct. Dab Dab the duck and Gub Gub the pig. 
Centennial. Dr. Doolittle. That is correct. English. Classify the last pronoun in this example. What kills a skunk is the publicity it gives itself. Centennial. Itself. That is not correct. Time. Answer is reflexive. Social studies. In 1932, the Republicans dutifully nominated Hoover for a second term at their gloomy convention. At the same time, the Democrats gathered jubilantly in Chicago and nominated whom? Centennial. Uh, FDR. That is correct. Death Valley National Monument is situated in what two states? Centennial. California and Nevada. That is correct. Science. What is the five-syllable name for the type of power produced when falling water turns turbines? Centennial. Hydroelectric. That is correct. Okay, math. A basket has exactly six eggs in it. Six different people each take one egg. These are normal people and normal chicken eggs. After all six eggs have been taken, there is still one egg left in the basket. How could this be? Time. The last person took the basket. Oh. <laughs> that was the last question for that half, too. <laughs>
Rochester in the United States and Toronto in Canada are both port cities on what lake? Time. Ontario. Math. If three stooges are arranged in a circle, there are two possible permutations. How many permutations are possible if they are arranged in a line? Centennial. Six. That's correct. General knowledge. What play by Neil Simon could have been, but was not, given this title? Perambulating without shoes or socks in a green tract of public urban land. Time. Barefoot in the park. English. As what part of speech does the infinitive function in this example? The whistler abruptly stopped his whistling in order to swallow. Time. Adverb. Science. The developmental process in tissue growth by which a relatively unspecialized tissue undergoes a progressive and usually irreversible change. Peoria. Stem cells. That is not correct. To a more specialized tissue is called what? Time. Differentiation. General knowledge. Who was the last great player slash coach in basketball for the Boston Celtics? Centennial. Larry Bird. That is not correct. Time. Bill Russell. Math. What unit of measurement initially equal to the width of the thumb was redefined in the 14th century as the length of three grains of barley. Peoria. What is the centimeter? That's not correct. Laid end to end. Centennial. The inch. That is correct. Social studies. An airplane flying due west from the capital of New Mexico would fly over how many other states before reaching the Pacific Ocean? Peoria. Two states. That is not correct. Centennial. One state. That is not correct. The answer is three. Science. In some instances, what life form is even smaller than large protein molecules? Time. Viruses. English. Who says this in The Merchant of Venice? The quality of mercy is not strained. A, Portia. B, Titania. C, Jessica. D. Antonio, or E. Shylock? Time. Portia. Social studies. Which queen ruled Egypt in the mid-1300s BC? Centennial. Cleopatra. That is not correct. Peoria. Nefertiti. That is not correct. <laughs> that is not correct. It's Nefertiti. Close. close. Oh. Awfully close. Yeah. Nefertiti. <sighs> General knowledge. What did Ariadne give Theseus to help him get out of? Centennial. A ball of string. That is correct. Science. What can bacteria do without? according to this passage. When in the resting spore stage, bacteria can tolerate extreme desiccation for long... Centennial. Oxygen. That is not correct. For long periods of time. 
Time. Water. Social studies. What is the two word name for the Malukas? Time. Spice Islands. English. Spell the name of the building in which the Congress meets. Centennial. C A P I T O L. That is correct. Social studies. What Soviet leader formed an alliance with Cuba after Fidel? Fioria. Gorbachev? That is not correct. Castro's successful revolution in night. Centennial? Khrushchev. Right. Correct. Math. If Sanderson Farms chicken breasts are on sale for $1.67 a pound, and you buy six pounds of chicken, how much will you spend? Centennial. $11.02. That is not correct. Peoria. $10.02. $10.02. Correct. Science. Isopropanol, ethanol, and methanol are members of what group of chemical compounds? Centennial. Carbohydrates. That is not correct. Time. Alcohols. English. How many words are in the subject of this sentence? Peter Porter put Pomeranian parts and pomegranate pulp into Peggy Platt's pompadour. Centennial? Two. That's correct. General knowledge. A group of prestigious scholarships at Oxford University was established in 1902 by the will of what diamond mogul? Peoria. The De Beers. That is not correct. Time. Cecil Rhodes. Social studies. Longitude is to meridians as latitude is to? Centennial. The equator. That is not correct. Time. Parallels. Math. To what field of math was Arthur Eddington referring in this limerick? There once was a brainy baboon who always breathed down a bassoon, for he said it appears that in millions of years I shall certainly hit on a tune. Centennial. Probability. That is correct. General knowledge. In 2005, Jean-Claude and what other artist erected 7,500 gates of saffron fabric for two weeks in New York City's Central Park? Time. Christo. That's the last question. Yeah, <laughs> congratulations.